Okay, good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening, Tita Josie, Justin, Aldrin, Giselle, Aileen, Heather, and Angelie. Good evening sa inyong lahat. <clears throat> good evening then, uh, Pastor Bert. So we have here, uh, good evening, Paul, uh, listening mode. Uh, praise support from Rachel. Nagka-time po maglaro nung Sunday. Uh, very refreshing po. Lalo na kasama namin maglaro mga ates of halo-halo team. <laughs> ano yung halo-halo team? Okay. Uh, prayer request, uh, mataas ang BP ni Mama. Praying for na bumaba and for Kuya Ibes po na makahanap siya ng bagong work. And pwede po siya makastay. Thank you. <clears throat> so we have Heather, Aileen, and Rachel, L mode. Oh, bagay na. L mode, listening mode. All right. So, tagatimpla po ng halo-halo. Oh, ito yung mga soft drinks beauty. <laughs> okay, gets ko na. Okay. And we have here Michelle. Michelle, hi Michelle. Listening mode si Michelle. Okay, so we have here Edder, Rachel, uh, Aileen, and uh, Michelle, all listening. Okay, good evening, good evening. Tita Bing, uh, Anna Lou and Mark, uh, Alison May, magandang gabi sa iyo. <coughs> Let's start with our praise report and prayer request. Nagsimula na si Rachel and... Uh, Anybody can start. Uh, let's call uh, Giselle. Praise report and prayer request. Good evening, Ate Janet. Good evening po sa lahat. Um, praise report ko po na ipasa ko po yung midterm ko na tinig ko po last Thursday. Praise the Lord po sa kanyang provision. And also same din po nung kay Ate. Ang sarap po ng laro namin ng badminton nung Sunday. So, very excited po ako sa Sunday ulit. And prayer request ko naman po, may quiz po ako sa auditing bukas and midterm din po next week. So, sunod-sunod po yung test ko. So, prayer na he will sustain me all throughout po and hindi po madrain mentally. Yan lang po. Thank you, Giselle. So, we have here um, praise report. Okay. Uh, praise support from Edder and Angeli, a uh, healthy and uh, safe for every day and thankful for La Filness family. Uh, prayer request, uh, mom's eye surgery, continuous protection and provision for the wedding. Lapit na po. Yay, hey, exciting. <laughs> and, um, hello for, uh, hello to Alison. Magandang gabi, Tita Bing. Good evening, um, Analu. Good evening, Tita Janet. Good evening, Kuya Noel. Okay, good evening, good evening. And let's hear it from uh, past, uh, Pastor Bert. Good evening sa uh, Any prayer request or praise report? Yeah, any pray, uh, prayer request? Ah, Pati? Hindi mo na surgery. Yeah, surgery, yeah. Ang 23 yung pa. Prayer request po, Pastor, yung ano, surgery ni... Pati yung dating uh, anak, ni anak ni Miss Krieger. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hip surgery. Hip surgery. Yeah. So, so Friday po yung hip surgery. Sa so Friday. Sandali lang po. Sa <laughs> so Friday, hip surgery. Uh, ano pong pangalan? Pati. T-A-T-T-T. T-A-T-T. The T A double T Y T I A T I T I M. Okay. 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 So we also have a special request from Giselle. Uh, midterms. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Pastor Bert. <laughs> Meron uh, pa, Pastor. Prayer request po raw na 
na tumaba na raw po si Wed. Na pressure sa trabaho. <laughs> so, okay. Yung mga, kasi, yung mga kasing bigat ko kaya okay na kay Wed siyon? <laughs> Hindi rin sabi ni Wedge. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, okay. Si Thank you. Ma- Thank you po, Pastor Bert. Okay, good evening, good evening. Okay, listening mode. Tagatimpla po ng halo-halo. Okay. Um, praise support. Okay. From Eileen, from Aileen, uh, praise support. Daniel was involved in a minor car accident last Valentine's Day. He was at fault. Praise God po na wala pong major damage on both cars at hindi naman po need iparepair right away. Pray request, uh, sana hindi na po mag-file ng claim yung driver. Still no update po kasi at hindi po tumaas ang car insurance ni Dania. And... Uh, Si CJ, good evening sa iyo, CJ. Uh, sabi ni Rachel, patabain pa po lalo natin si Ate Wedge. Okay. So sabi ni Sister Anelu, praise support. We praise God for the safe travel during our trip. Uh, prayer request, God's uh, continued guidance and direction in all our plans and desires. All right. So CJ, listening. Lagay natin si CJ sa listening mode. Nadi lang po. Nasaan na si CJ? Ayun. Okay, good evening, good evening, Tita Josie. It's your turn. Hi, good evening po sa lahat. <clears throat> Praise report ko po. Uh, yung kagalingan ng mga apo ko, yan, magaling na sila. At nakakapasok na sa school. At uh, mapasalamat din po ako. At uh, nakapagpa-check up kami kanina ni Noel. Uh, kaya lang po may prayer request ako. Pastor. Apo. Kasi mata- mataas yung BP ko. Mm-hmm. Kaya sa prayer request ilagay mo. Ilagay mo pastor ba ba bumaba yung BP. Ilalagay na yan. Bumaba ang BP ni Tita Josie. <laughs> Ayan. The lower down BP. Uh-huh. Ayun po ang aking prayer request. Hmm. Sige po. Ah, salamat po. Yun lang po. Salamat po, Tita Josie. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Justin, good evening. <laughs> Excuse me. Prayer request and praise report, Justin. Um, I praise God because uh, my family is healthy and we're all safe. And um, as for my school, uh, I'm actually enjoying what I'm learning in my classes right now. So mm-hmm. it doesn't really feel like a burden. Um, mm. uh, prayer requests, uh, just good health for everyone. Thank you. We're, we're glad to hear that uh, you're enjoying all your class. Okay. So, thank you, Justine. Good evening. Tita Bing, good evening sa iyo. Prayer request and praise report. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Uh, mm-hmm. Praise report po. Uh, kahapon po, nasamahan na po ako ni Jaya magpa-lab test. So, mm-hmm. kanina po, nalaman po, na, nalaman na po namin yung resort in email sa akin. Uh, okay naman po ang, ang resort except lang po sa sugar. Mm-hmm. Medyo, medyo mataas po. Sure. Um, ang prayer request ko naman po, uh, sana po bumaba yung sugar ko. Kasi sigurado po ipapalaboratory uli ako. Tsaka po sa bawat isa yung hindi po magkasakit. Yun lang po. Thank you po. Okay. Amen. Thank you po. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And uh, yan, nilagay ko na. Lower down sugar. Okay, from Michelle. Uh, hello po, Pastor. Prayer request po. 
for my mother, Evelyn Fontanilla, that she eventually returns to God. She was uh, baptized in her 20s, but she refuses my invites to go to church and has completely changed to a different... Okay. Uh, hopefully, through God's uh, difference, uh, provi providence and guidance, pumalik po siya sa dati. Salamat. Okay, thank you. We will pray for your mom. Okay? Okay, good evening, good evening. Alison May, good evening. Good evening po. For me naman po, praise report po is magaling na po ako compared po nung Sunday kasi po parang feeling ko himatay na ko. Sumakit ulo ko. So, praise the Lord po is ngayon na uh, okay na po, healed na po ako. And praise report din po kasi everything is going well din po with academics. Natutuwa po yung professor ko po sa amin. And then, very cooperative po yung mga, um, mga classmates ko po from online and in person as well po. And ayun po, feeling ko lang po um, thankful na thankful ako kasi everything is going to plan, like plan on the God. Because everything is going smoothly so far po for me. And then another praise report po is na God is keep on giving me the heart of happiness to keep on worshiping Him and then focusing on Him din po. Um, prayer, report, ay, prayer request naman po is um, siguro po to, for, for me to keep following Him and then my heart is like nam, direct pa rin po sa Kanya and keep on being directed to, to Him and uh, everything will be smoothly um, proceed for my academics and um, career path po. Mm -hmm. And then uh, may yung will po ni Lord is mangyari. Yun po ang para sa akin po. Thank you po. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Alison. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Tita Janet. Good evening. Your turn. Ay, magandang magandang gabi po sa, sa ating lahat. Uh, yung praise report ko po, nagpapasalamat po ako kay Lord kasi nung Friday... Si Janelle, first time, niya, first time po niya nag-drive sa LA. And uh, uh, yung protection nga po ng Lord ay eh, talagang everyday nararanasan po natin. And thankful po ako dun sa event kasi yung girlfriend nung aking pamangkin ay sama niya first time dun sa mga ganyang gawain. And she's blessed. She's blessed dun po sa nakaraang uh, event po natin. And prayer po is continuously makilala po ni, ni Bri. Bri po yung pangalan niya. Si Lord. At sa kayong mga friends din ni Janelle, makakilala din po kay God. And may the Lord use them, yung mga anak po natin, to be a witness of God's goodness sa mga kaklasi po nila. Yung lamang po, marami pong salamat. Amen. Thank you, Tita Janet. And uh, na-bless din kami sa last Friday. Ang daming in-invite ng mga youth. Very good, very good. Okay, good evening, John Marco. Good evening, Tita Fe. Good evening, and Benson family. Good evening, Faith. Good evening, Sayo. Let's go now to Sister Faith. Good evening, Sister Faith. Uh, your turn, praise support, and uh, prayer request. Uh, magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Uh, praise report ko po. Uh, una nakapag-submit na po ako sa USCIS last Friday. Yun din po yung prayer request ko na... Ano na po yung na-receive na po nila na maging smooth tapos wala pong maging problema yun tsaka ma-approve. Higit sa lahat po ma-approve po yun. Extension ko po yun until next year. And then uh, isa din po sa praise report ko nakapag ano po nakapag discipleship po kami nila uh, Nicole Vince tsaka sis, kasama ko po si Cyrus last kailan nga po ba ito? Basta two days ago po ata. So yun nakapatawa lang po yung ano yung conversation ganyan. And then, prayer request ko po. Then, um, pagbabalik na po si Mama next week. <laughs> so, dating niya po ay Alice po siya. Na, baka Wednesday po ata siya darating. O, 28 po. So, yun, safe po. Gumagala pa po siya ngayon eh. So, safe po na travel ni Mama pagbalik dito. na mm. uh, Kasi mag-isa po siya. First time po in a long time na mag-isa po siyang umuwi ng Pilipinas at babalik eh. So, yung safety lang po ng kanyang pagbiyahe. At hindi po siya magkasakit sa pagdating niya po dito kasi iba yung panahon. And then, okay. last po, ano, may hinihintay po kasi kaming, bago po kasi bumalik si mama, may kailangan po siyang 
Kasi kasuhing sa GSIS ko po, kaso yung documents ko po ay papunta pa lang ng Pilipinas. So, pinagpipari ko pong ma magawa po yung kailangan gawin ni Mama bago po siya bumalik ng US. Kasi importante po yun. Urgent po. Yun lang po. Thank you po. Amen. Thank you. Welcome back, Tita Pepot. Okay, uh, we have here from the Venson family. Good evening po, listening mode. Uh, while working over time, uh, praise support. We were able to have some time to relax and unwind sa Japan. Sobrang thankful po sa Lord, sa mga blessings at nagiging possible po na makapunta kami sa dream country namin. Uh, prayer request, uh, sana po maipasa po ni Derek yung entrance exam niya this March 1 and mawala na po yung lower back pain ni nanay. Thank you po. Okay. Yes, and uh, we have here Tita Fe. Good evening. The most beautiful Lola in the world. <laughs> pray request and pray support. Pray support po. I praise the Lord for His faithfulness to us. He meets our needs. He, he protects us and He gives us peace and joy and love. My prayer request is that God will continue to to protect the whole Philness family, yeah, protect from sickness, from from anything that is that we don't want, from accidents, from thieves, and uh, anything like it. That's my prayer request, and I praise the Lord because He is faithful. Amen, 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 amen. Okay. Uh, so we'll go now with our uh, devotion pero bago yan eh, mag-pray support ka muna and prayer request Aldrin and Corazon bago tayo mag-devotion Good evening po sa lahat um, Praise report po um, Praise and worship po last Sunday went well um also um yun po kahit po nag-uulan we are healthy we are safe so praise the lord po and um also um last sunday first time po ni Elisha makapag drums with the worship team sa Halina't Sama-sama so nakabless po nakabless po yung bata because she's really determined and uh, uh mali maganda po yung puso niya yung heart niya to at a young age, gustong-gusto po niya talaga to glorify God through her talent. So praise mm -hmm. the Lord po. And the prayer request po is um, si Jasmine po, uh, ano po eh, uh, medyo may tummy ache po siya uh, tonight. Kaya ano po siya, listening mode po siya. Mm -hmm. So yes. uh, yun po. Yun, sa pray, prayer request na po na sana gumaling na po si Jasmine. Yun po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um Aldrin. So give me a second. I use it for Anto. Okay. And uh all right. Dan po. Basahin ko lang yung chat. And uh, ma mahirap lang kasi pagka nag uh, ikaw ang nag uh, ano yun? Nag uh, nagmamani ubra eh mahirap. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Sana ako. <laughs> okay, Aileen to everyone. Thank you for all the support, Kuya Aldrin, and the whole praise and worship team. Okay. Uh, prayer request for Tita Bing. Lower back pain ko po na mawala. Sana. Salamat po. Okay. Sulat natin yon. Lower back pain. And narugan po. Lower back pain. Tita Bing. Okay. Okay. All right. So, we review lang natin para sigurado no sa ating samahan niyo akong i-review ang ating uh mga praise report and prayer request. So, tingnan po. Okay. Okay, for LA Philness attendees, uh, Giselle will pray for number 
uh, 14 to 26 uh, na member natin. Okay, and then we will have uh, Tita Josie will pray for the Church of the Nazarene. Complete healing. Uh, si Allison ang ating prayer lead. And uh, we have here Belma Josie Patty. Kamusta yung kay dudes? Okay na ba yung kay dudes? Uh, pa pa rin natin bang ipag-pray? Uh, yung kay Pastor Bert na sore sa ribs, left side. Magaling na ba yan, Pastor? Na po, Pastor. Yan. Ang yung, uh, okay na po. How about yung uh, ubo? Nila Darren, Nat, Nat, Rizel, Jirel. Kamusta ang mga ubo? Si Gemma Vicente. Oh, sa, sino ang nag... Uh, ano ka, Gemma Vicente? So, ayan. Please update us no para na-update natin. Mamaya kasi kumaling na or uh, kailangan pa natin ipag-pray pa. Diba? So, we have here for uh, cancer, complete healing. A sister Faith will lead us. And then, for special favor and uh, request... Uh, Sister Janet will lead us. And then, um, how's the Anaya CBC? Okay na ba tayo? Anaya CBC? Uh, Pastor, ano po po yan? Next month pa po eh. Uh, next month pa. Okay, stay lang yan. Uh, we have, uh, okay. Uh, okay, mukhang stay lahat ito. Nakihang ko lang ng konti para mas makita ng marami. Ayan. And then, okay, magpipray doon si Sister Janet. And then, events ang magpipray si Tita Fe. So, ito yung mga sunod-sunod nating events for the coming hanggang sa June. Okay? Hanggang sa June na events. Okay, and then we'll have our uh, popcorn prayer. Okay, dogs, let's start. Uh, pastor, ano yung pastor? Apa? Ano yung ah? tenebrae? Ano yun? Tenebrae, ano yun? At tenebrae service po, yun po yung kagaya nung sa, ano po, sa last year. Hmm. Yung sa last year po, kung natatandaan nyo, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, parang Black Friday service kung saan nakapatay lahat ng ilaw. Tapos, uh, pinasa lang natin yung, um, pinasa natin yung, yung word, no, na patungkol sa kamatayan ni Kristo. Hmm. At, uh, And then we ended up uh, with a fasting. Ano po? Uh, 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 and that we... Uh, tama, no? And then, uh, kumbaga, uh, ang ano, no, karugtong na nun, yung Easter, sa, Easter, Easter service or Resurrection Sunday. Okay? Mm. Yeah, well, thank you. So we, okay, and uh, we have here... Um, opo... Wala. Okay. Rise on Jair. Wala na po. John Vicente ongoing. And then, uh, okay. That's it. So, okay. Uh, we'll turn over yung uh, devotional kay uh, Brother Aldrin. <clears throat> so, sandali lang po. Iusin ko lang po ito. Sandali lang po. Medyo ayan. Welcome to your Simbang Pinoy Dapper Room Prayer Gathering every 8 p.m. Wednesday. Matuwing Merkulis, 8 p.m. So, for our praise, support, and prayer request, tapos na po tayo dyan. So, for devotional leaders, we have uh, Aldrin today, and then next week, Alison, then Anadu, CJ, Faith, Fe, and so on and so forth. And then, balik tayo. Ikot lang. Ngayon, if you know somebody na gustong mag-lead ng devotion, uh, please let us know. No, Let me know para ma-include ko dito. at uh, maging part ng team. Okay? Good evening, Tyron. Listening mode din si Tyron. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, kasi uh, we are, uh, you know, collect namin yung data kung ilang beses kayo nag-attend ng, ano, ng, uh, ng uh, what do you call this, ng uh, prayer gathering, no? Kasi this is uh, um, a ministry Kumbaga, that you are a part of no kasi uh, praying for the church and the, uh, whatever in the world is a ministry no? so we're planning also na uh, na to fortify yung ministry eh yung palaging nag-attend at saka uh, nagiging devotional leader no 
uh, siguro mag start kami dun sa mga devotional leaders. No? We're planning to create a uh, t-shirt for them. Okay, parang to say thank you na parang uh, about uh, being a devotional leader sa sa ano sa sa upper zoom okay so please join us no and be part of the devotional leaders so sana nga ang goal natin eh darating ang panahon na pag ikaw ang devotional leader ikaw na rin facilitator kagaya ng ginagawa ko ikaw na yung magtatanong ng praise report and prayer request ikaw na yung uh, um magpapa-pray mag uh, magdidid ng uh, devotion and everything so No, we're, we're uh, going towards uh, that tra- uh, trajectory kasi gusto natin yun yung part ng discipleship system natin gusto natin mapalakas lahat no yung uh, gusto natin na uh, ang kalibre ng lahat hindi lang uh, basta member or worker pang senior pastor parang ganoon okay so pag may alam kayo at kilala na gusto maging leader ng devotion natin sabihin niyo nang sabi so for tonight it will be Aldrin pagbubulay-bulay salita ng Diyos Good evening, Aldrin. Take it away. Okay po. Good evening po sa lahat ulit. And um, before we start, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God, maraming salamat po sa opportunity, Lord God, to learn about your word, to uh, magbabad po at magbulay-bulay sa inyong salita, Lord God. Lord, um, uh, please um, put this word in our hearts, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, with our discussion na may matutunan po kami at naisabuhay po namin itong um, uh, salita po ninyo, Lord. And Lord, maraming salamat po ulit sa gabi ito and for everybody here, Lord God, who is listening and who will participate, Lord God. May you bless them, Lord God. And we love you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, yun po, yung ating um, devotion is about Luke 12.15. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. I chose this verse kasi po I think it ties uh may related po siya dun sa ano um sermon po natin last Sunday about the rich young ruler. So we all know the story last Sunday na pakinggan po natin lahat. And let me read this short devotion about the empty pursuit of more from the U version app. Sabi po dito greed it wears like an invisible cloak blending seamlessly into the fabric of modern culture it silently seeps into our desires clouds our judgment and distorts our values greed always seeks more more validation more status more comfort more things but the irony of greed is this the more earthly possessions status or validation we gain the more we are left dissatisfied in Luke 12:15 Jesus warns how the solution of fulfillment through relentless collecting more blinds us to true contentment and purpose and is an empty pursuit. Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. True fulfillment doesn't happen when we store up possessions or pursue an ending comfort. True fulfillment is found when we're anchored to contentment, gratitude, and a deep relationship with God that leads to seeking his kingdom and righteousness. Where do you have an endless craving for more? More validation? More comfort? More possessions? Are there areas of your life where the constant pursuit of more might be overshadowing the pursuit of God's kingdom and His righteousness? So let me share lang po yung aking um, own testimony. I think yung spirit of greed po for me sa background ko when I was young, it started probably when my, my father died. After my father died, um, yung mom ko po which nandito na po pala siya I didn't know na bigla ko na lang nalaman na she was already here in the US she supported me and my brother financially but I, after my father died I grew up with my grandparents and my cousins and my uncles so doon po ako lumaki and yung yung pagbabudget po ng baon namin or yung yung allowance namin ng magkapatid I I really had to be tight Kumbaga, we, we had to watch out for each other na lang, kami ng brother ko. Kasi we didn't really have uh, others to support us, only my mom financially. So, dun po ako natuto na kailangan maghigpit, kailangan pagkasahin yung ganitong budget. At a young age, ay kailangan pagkasahin yung ganitong baon for 
this uh, for a whole month. And ngayon po, nadala ko po siya hanggang sa paglaki ko, hanggang sa mag-asawa. And then, but God changed me a, a little bit. A little by little, God changed me. Especially when I learned about tithing. So tithing, ever since I've learned about tithing, and nag, when I have a church that I really, I'm really committed, I really come to a point na I would give my tithes and not rob God. Because, yun nga po, everything comes from Him and I really need to give yung, yung, yung ipakita ko po yung obedience ko that He requires to give our 10%. So I, I even give more yung at yung ano yung um offering. But um nandoon pa rin po minsan yung I still have a hard time sharing especially with strangers or non-family members. Sa family medyo guarantee pa po ako eh pero when it comes to other strangers or so people that I'm not really close to medyo hirap akong maging galante. But I thank the Lord for giving my wife kasi yung wife ko siya yung very generous because sa background naman niya, um, although kapo sila nung, nung nasa Philippines, people were helping them. So, she 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 learned to be content but she also see, saw the, the the importance of being generous because people were helping them. Gusto niya i-pay back for, i-pay forward. So, that that was something that, wow, I, I parang, parang si, si Christ was like that. He, he went to earth, be, he he was sa, 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 he, he was the creator of everything but he went to earth by he was not necessarily um the word poor pero he was he was still generous in service in showing miracles in healing the sick and um giving knowledge and wisdom so ayun po um greed po is something na um ano po eh very selfish kasi like we always think of ourselves but Jesus is selfless so we need to count our blessings we need to see how God good is my wife would always remind me na oh we're still blessed kahit na we're having financial challenges we're still blessed we still have a family we're healthy we're alive we're we're all together we have a roof that we're dry even if it's there's a storm So I praise the Lord po talaga for my family, for my wife who is always encouraging me and reminding me of God's faithfulness. So yun po, um, that's my testimony. And um, yun po, our question for today is, uh, po, what action would or actions would you take to stay away from greed? So what is your cure for greed? So yun po, Pastor. Okay, sorry, nakamit pala ako. <laughs> Thank you, Aldrin. Good evening, uh, Tita Rose. Good evening sa iyo. And, uh, Good evening po. So we have here a question ni Brother Aldrin na sasagutin nating lahat. And also, uh, kung napansin ko, ano to, mukhang... Uh, Continuation ng ating last Sunday sermon. Tama ba, Aldrin? So, Tama po, Pastor. Amen. So, let's ask uh, Giselle, uh, Giselle first. Okay, good evening, Giselle. So, no, be on no. your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist an abundance of possessions. Sabi sa ano, Lucas 12.15 At sinabi niya sa kanilang lahat, Mag-ingat kayo sa lahat ng uri ng kasakiman sapagkat ang buhay ng tao ay wala sa dami ng kanyang kayamanan. What action or actions would you take to stay away from greed? Alright, Giselle. Um, for me po, a appreciating what I have and being grateful and contented lang po talaga. Um, I think that is very important po kasi po when you compare yourself with others, that's when we um just uh, desire for more. So yun po, it's important na we know kung saan po mag-focus, which is kay Lord, and just be um constantly reminded na the meaning of life is 
um not found in worldly things like money but it is found in God. So yun din po sinasabi rin po sa akin ni Mama lagi na wag mo i-compare yung achievements mo sa iba kasi ang importante na you are rich in the work of the Lord. So yun po yung mindset ko. And yun lang po. Thank you Jezel. Kumbaga contentment, no? At uh, ang contentment, sabi nga ni Jezel, matatagpuan natin sa Panginoon. Sa pamagitan ng pagmamahal sa Panginoon, at uh, yung pagmamahal na yun, mag-outflow sa ating buhay. Manalo na sa ministry natin. Thank you, Jezel. And we have here, sabi ni Rachel, yan din po ang devotion ko earlier. Isa po sa mga pwede nating gawin para hindi tayo maging sakim ay uh, matuto po tayong maging contented at huwag maingit. Ang true contented Contentment po ay mararamdaman lang po natin kung kay Kristo tayo dahil siya ang tunay na nagbibigay ng contentment in life and in every way. Thank you. I agree. I second the motion. Thank you, thank you. Okay, good evening sa iyo. Uh, we have here um, Pastor Bert. Good evening, Pastor Bert. It's your turn. Gandang gabi po. Yung katanungan ni eh, ano yung panlaban? Ano yung, action would you take? Ano yung action na gagawin upang maiwasan ang pagiging oh, matakaw o greed? <laughs> ganid. 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 Greed, yeah. Greed. Siguro po, eh, yun eh. Na, nasagot na ni Jessel, no? Yung we must learn to be content. Sabi nga ni Pablo, he learn how to abound and kapag meron at wala, ay marunong siyang maging uh, contento. Tama po yun na uh, huwag na tayo pong uh, wala namang masama dun sa mag, uh, ano ka, mag, uh, mag-aspire ka. But uh, and yet uh, yun nga kapag uh, yun na yung naging priority mo na magpakayaman kahit na weekdays or weekends yung sabado mo yung pahinga o linggo pinagtatrabaho mo pa para kumita ka lang siguro yun siguro yung ano yung mahirap doon ano na uh, yung panahon mo para sa Panginoon uh, the Lord uh, ask you to give one day in a week and yet you still take his time mo yung pana para sa Panginoon. Kasi darating yung panahon na yung lahat ng inipon mo, mm-hmm. ayan ay hindi mo naman dadalhin. No? It, mm-hmm. eh, malaking, malaking lugi, pangalugi. No? Uh, it is a great uh, loss for you if you invest in a lot of material things and you forgot the most important one the spiritual aspect of your life the relationship with god so ayun po siguro na antidote sa greediness ay you must learn how to be content and be generous and really listen to the word of god ayun lang po siguro no salamat po magandang gabi Amen. Thank you, Pastor Bert. Okay, let's go now to Sister Josie. Good evening, Sister Josie. Good evening po. <clears throat> uh, para po sa akin niya, eh, huwag nga dahil tayo maging sakim o madamot. Dahil sabi nga po, ay, uh, wala tayo kung hindi rin naman tayo ibinles ng ating Panginoon. Dahil lahat po niyang uh, kayamanan natin o mga kabuhayan natin galing din po sa ating Panginoon. Kaya kung may mga nangangailangan at kaya naman natin tulungan, eh why not, bakit hindi natin sila tutulungan? Dahil ano, pero sabi nga po, uh, kailangan pagka uh, nagbibigay tayo, meron tayo yung cheer, cheerful heart po yung pagbibigay natin sa iba at pagtulong natin sa iba. Hindi yung napipilitan lang tayo o nagyayabang lang tayo. Ganon. 
uh, pagkatumulong tayo sa ating gapwa, lalo na sa mga kasama natin sa church, mga kamimbro natin sa church, yung pong uh, with a cheerful heart, sabi niya. At yun ang gusto ng ating Panginoon kapag tayo ay uh, nagbibigay sa ating mga uh, kapatiran, gano'n. Lahat po nang ginagawa natin para sa ating Panginoon. Yun po. Yun lang po. Amen. Thank you, Tita Josie. And uh, we have here, uh, Justin, your next so, doon sa mga listening mode, you can send your um, uh, reaction sa ating devotion uh, for tonight through our chat group. Uh, and I'll just read it for you. Okay. Uh, Justine, good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, well, um, as it was already said, um, one practical way is to uh, be content with what you already have. There's wisdom in practicing frugality. But in addition to that, um, it's also important to recognize that uh, the things we see here are temporal. Um, another verse in the Bible says, don't store up treasures for yourself in uh, here where uh, vermin come in to destroy, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven because those are the things that will actually last and therefore are the things that actually matter. Um, it's also important to remember that all the blessings came from God in the first place and he wants us to use than to bless others. Okay, thank you, Justin. And uh, we have here from Sister Anna Lou, continue to soak yourself in the word of God. Yun yung first action niya. Second, once we acknowledge that everything we have and uh, receive is a blessing from God, no? It uh, makes it easier to be generous and not be greedy. And number three, for, uh, pray for contentment. All right. Thank you, Sister Anneli. Uh, okay. Uh, pwede daw mag-share si Sister Rose. Uh, next ka, Sister Rose. Basahin ko lang ito. Uh, from CJ and Tyrone. Isa po sa mga actions na ginagawa po namin para mag-stay away from greed is usually... Nagbibigay po kami sa mga nangangailangan. Ayan, nangangailangan ako ngayon, si Jay and Tyron. Yes. <laughs> Usually, kapag may extra po kaming money, mumibili po kami ng extra tapos sinabot po namin sa kanila uh, wholeheartedly. And, uh, ano to? Sandali uh, lang, amen. Uh, may bili ka pa rin. Sandali lang po, medyo nawala yung aking binabasa. Walang hinihiling, walang, walang hinihiling, hinihinging kapalit. Okay. Every time po kami nagbibigay, naramdaman po namin, palagi ang overflowing blessings and love ni God sa amin. Amen. Well, uh, sana all, mga Raymundo brothers. Okay, good evening. Uh, meron pa, meron pa. May mabul dito. Sandali lang po. We have here from Edder and Angeli. Uh, for us po, it's uh, to keep ourselves grounded by remembering material things or a lot of money don't bring us joy. We don't get to take our possessions with us after that. So we have to focus on being servants of Jesus instead of focusing on making more money. If we can help people with the very little things or little money we have, why not? That pleases God and that's what matters. I'm thankful po that God has given us the wisdom to still be able to live comfortably and able to give back to Him despite having one income. All thanks to God. Amen. And good evening, Tita Rose. It's your turn.
Hello? Naririnig niyo ba ako? Parang hindi ko kayo naririnig. Parang uh, nawala. Ang dali lang po. Ayusin ko lang po. Ayusin ko lang po. Sandali lang po. Mukhang ako ay nawala. Dali lang po. Ayusin ko lang. Ah, okay po. Na po. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello po. Naririnig niyo na po. Tita Rose? Apo, naririnig niyo po kami. Naririnig po ba ako? Apo. Pastor, naririnig po namin kayo. Okay, okay na. Gay na. Ayan, yan, yan. Okay na po. Ah. Naririnig ko yan na rin po. kayo. Sorry ah, po. Uh, yun Go po siya sabi ko kanina po. Yung, uh, lagi ko pong naririnig sa, sa sermon po sa church. Na ang gamot po sa greediness po ay pagiging generous po. At lagi ko po yung eh, sinasa puso ko rin po yun. Uh, maliliit pa po ang mga bata. Nung natatandaan ko po na we used to buy uh, buckets and chicken po and then pinamimigay po namin noon. At uh, madalas po noon na uh, halos every year po pumupunta po kami sa Mexico. So yung ginagawa ko po, inipong ko po yung mga damit po na, na i-dispose na po namin. Mga jackets, lahat po, mga shirts. Pati po mga toys ng mga bata at uh, pinapabayaan po namin ang mga bata po ang magbigay sa mga... Marami po kasi namamalimu sa Mexico yung pagbabalik na po galing sa, board, sa border po. Uh, sa po pong magandang... Ano, Kung baga, dapat po kasi sa amin po, sa sinasabi ko po kay Dave na maliit pa lang po mga bata, turuan na rin po maging mapagbigay. Hindi po sa pera lang din po nasusukat ang pagbibigay. Uh, sa pagtulong sa ibang bagay hindi lang po sa material na bagay at sa sa mga pera kundi pagtulong po kung may nangangailangan po ng sa ibang paraan po at uh, natutunan ko rin po na malaking bagay po sa ministry ko po yung pong maramdaman mo po sa sarili mo na you have to sacrifice some things na uh, Kumbaga, mas mag-priority, marunong ka po mag-prioritize. Kasi dati po, kung ano lang gusto mong bilhin, mas, naman mas nakakapagpasaya sa'yo, hindi po pala dapat ka nun. Mas dapat pong gamitin mo ang ang binibigay sa'yo, binabahagi sa'yo yung Panginoon na sa income mo po, sa tamang paraan po. Malaki pong channel po ang, ang pagiging parte ko po sa piging. Uh, kasi po, uh, kung dati po, kumbaga, wala ka pong pag-iingat sa biyaya sa iyo ng Panginoon, ngayon po, mas binabalansi ko po namin para po mas makapagbahagi po sa iba. Yun lang po. Mm-hmm. Gusto ko yung perspective na yun, no? yung uh, kumbaga, uh, magbigay tayo, uh, turuan natin yung mga bata ng pagbibigay sa level ng pamilya. Alam mo yan, kumbaga, ang, ang church kasi support group yan eh, pero talaga nagsisimula ang uh, ang pagbibigay sa pamilya. So mapapansin din naman natin yan eh, kapag uh, yung parents natin hindi papagbigay, uh, kumbaga, uh, ganun din yung mga bata, di ba? hindi rin mapagbigay. Di ba? Parang, parang sa ano, nung, nung, nung bata ako, nakikita ko na pag nakikita, nakikita ko yung tatay ko kapag uh, nakikita niya yung mga tsahin niya sa Pampanga or ano baka pag nakikita niya bit, lagi niyang inaabutan ng pera no so parang unknowingly ako rin nung pag-uwi ko sa Pilipinas pag may nakita akong kapatid ng tatay ko kay kailangan no hindi parang unknowingly alam niyo parang nagagaya mo siya no hindi naman ako tinuruan parang ganun baka uh, tay talaga ang best example ng mga bata Okay. So thank you Tita Rose, ang ganda ng iyong senior. Sana makapunta rin kami ng Mexico. Kasi Mexico Pampanga pa lang narating ko. So good evening Aileen, uh, sabi dito ni Aileen, uh, always count our blessings, no? Uh, big or small, stop comparing our situation with other people kasi like what Giselle mentioned, that's where discontentment starts, okay? Become an obedient and faithful tighter. Oh, yun. Na, na hit mo on uh, on ta- on the head of the nail. Na uh, you know one of the antidote of greed is give your tights, di ba? Kasi that is trusting in the Lord. Good evening Tita Bing. 
It's your turn. Good evening. <laughs> uh, good evening po uli sa lahat. Good evening. Uh, sa akin naman po, yun nga, uh, kailangan po na kahit maliit o malaki man po ang ating uh, natatanggap sa buhay at mga blessing na binibigay ni Lord, kailangan po talaga na kahit paano ma-share din po sa iba. At saka hindi po kailangan na solohin kung ano man po yung ating natatanggap. Kasi kahit po si, kahit nga po ang Panginoon, hindi po siya nag, nagdadalawang isip na bigyan niya tayo ng mga blessing na hinihiling natin. Kaya dapat ganun din po tayo. At saka kung ano po yung, yung nasa atin na nakakamit natin, makontento po tayo. At huwag po nating solohin at uh, i-share po natin sa iba. Yun lang po, Pastor. Amen. Thank you, Tita Bing. At syempre, yung inyong ministry sa Piging, that is uh, selfless giving every week. Kaya nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon sa buhay ng lahat ng mga Piging ladies at mga Pigong. Kasi may mga Pigong din. <laughs> <laughs> mga pigong lalaki lalaki na po lalaki <laughs> salamat po Alison May good evening papansin good ko Alison inspired ka kay Lord ngayon ha <laughs> yes po yes po okay, good, um, good. for me naman po what action would you take to stay away from greed um sa akin po is understanding the heart of the Lord and striving to have the heart that he looks for. And also, I think it's important din po sa, yung nabanggit na din po ni Ate Eileen na it's important to count your blessings. Yun nga, recognition po sa mga magagandang ginawa ni Lord sa buhay natin, kagaya po nung mga oras na sobrang kinakailangan natin siya. At saka lalo na po sa mga panahon na nakita natin kung gano'n siya ka-generous sa blessings na ibinigay niya sa atin. Kahit na minsan alam natin na hindi natin deserve yun. Pero actually po, kung iisipin po natin, we already have everything, and that is Christ. Kasi nga po, although paulit-ulit po natin pinag-uusapan, but sabi nga po sa John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, <clears throat> whoever believes in Him shall not perish. So kung dun pa lang po iisipin natin na si Jesus, He is the one and only precious son of God, and he was given to us. And Jesus, the sacrifice for our sins, even loved us so much that he even gave us salvation. Yung sobra-sobra yung kasalanan natin, pero, you know, he, he loved us so much, even Father God. Mahal na mahal niya tayo. Tapos, dun po, with that mindset, dun din po natin ma-apply na greed is actually just a form of lie. It's a mindset that makes us think na kailangan pa natin ng more. We need more. But we if we are anchored in the truth, which is we all know that the only truth is in Christ. At si Christ lang yon. Those lies lose its power. So that's yun po yung akin. Thank you po. Amen. Thank you, Alison. Amen. Tita Janet, your turn. Um, ano po? Kasi issue of, issue of the heart po yung greed eh. Kaya po, I believe the Lord is asking us to give our tithes and our offering. God does, doesn't need our finances, but He is concerned about our heart. So, yun lang po. God is concerned about our heart because he could. He, God is more than able to give more than beyond what we can ask for or imagine. Pero kailangan po kasi tama yung puso. Kaya po si Lord nakatingin sa puso. And I believe one way of showing is to just really be uh, giving our all to Him. Kauna-unahan po doon yung nire-require ng Panginoon. Give your tithes and your offering and then others will follow na. Madali na pong magbigay kapag ka doon sa tithes and offering Medyo naka-absuel naka, naka to na tayo doon. Madali na po magbigay din sa iba. Like our time, our talents, our skills, hindi lamang po sa finances. Lamang po, maraming pong salamat. 
Salamat po, Peter and Janet. We have here from uh, John Marco. Personally po, I always do my best to start and end my day with gratitude. I either, I, I either list them out or actively uh, recall God's blessings for me and my family. This, this helps me be grounded and uh, content with what God has given me. Also, um, I, I also agree with Giselle that comparing ourselves to other people will deprive us of our joy and contentment. Additionally, greed shows our distrust and disbelief in God that we need to rely on the worldly things rather than relying on God. I thank you, John Marco. Then the JM, bar, parang bagay ang Pastor JM. Yan. Thank you. Faith, your turn. Hello po. Good evening po. Parang nasabi na po nila. Ayun na ito. Sa akin po, ano, I agree po yung sinabi ni Dita Janet about tithing. Kasi yeah, I agree that uh, yung greed is an issue of the heart. Uh, personally po nung nasa Pilipinas ako, yung parang there was an, may nag, parang naging apart po to ng focus devotion ko po one time. Tapos ang tinuro po sa akin ni Lord no, na dala-dala ko hanggang ngayon, yung to, to have a generosity fund. Yung parang I allot a portion of that Aside from okay, tithing, yeah. a portion para if someone is in need, ganyan, nakabudget na po talaga yun. Tos, kasi nung, nung nasa UP po ako, ang dami ko pong estudyante na hindi nakakakain kasi ano eh, well, kulang po talaga yung allowance nila or delayed yung allowance nila from DOST or delayed yung sweldo ng magulang nila. So, ang naging ano ko po nun, yun po may generosity fund tas para may panlibre. <laughs> kasi ang hirap din po na pag pagkapos ka rin di ba sa mo siya hukunin at least ko naka-budget siya. Tapos kunyari hindi po siya nagamit for this week, naiipon po siya for next week kasi may budget ulit for next week. So ano po, naging practice po namin 'yon. So ang, na ang natutunan ko po doon yung pagiging intentional in ano generosity kasi para ang inimpress po sa akin ni Lord doon yung being generous towards God kasi in meeting the needs of others and not just yourself. Tapos I guess yung One way din po is yung mindset talaga na God is the source and His supply is unlimited and He provides generously for all our needs. So parang hindi kailangan mag-hoard, hindi kailangan mag-worry, ganyan, hindi kailangan. But we can sow kasi God multiplies our seed for sowing. Parang ganun po, Pastor Jeff. Amen. Gusto ko yung generosity fund na yan. Ha? Maganda yan. Magandang uh, gawing lifestyle yan. Okay. So, good evening, uh, Tita Fe, last but not the least. Pinakamagandang lola sa buong Pilipinas. <laughs> Grabe naman si Pastor. Okay, yung sa akin naman, uh, one way of um, not allowing greed to control us or to, you know, destroy our... Faith in the Lord is to read the Word of God because in the Word of God we find a lot of things there that uh, uh, make us that teach us, you know, that investing in eternal things is what is what uh, we are supposed to do. Like so that when we say invest in eternal things, like sharing what God gives us, you know, with the poor people. And God is so much concerned with the poor. And he blesses those who help the poor. And another way is to be fair to uh, people whom we hire. For example, we hire somebody to clean the house. We should not be stingy. We have to be generous in, in uh, giving them what they are supposed to to receive. We should not be unfair, be greedy, be selfish to those who work for mm -hmm. us. There are so many things that we can we can share uh, what God has given us with um, people who who will be who need our help and giving is uh, or generosity through giving is 
so important to the Lord. And we know that in the act of giving, we find enjoyment. And, and, and with that enjoyment inside, we are encouraged the more to share, to help, and uh, to whatever blessings God has given us. So there's no room for, for greediness, for greed uh, to, uh, to, to develop in us because we have the word of God and we put into action what we learn from the word and God blesses us the more we give the more we share, the more we think of the poor, the more we think of things that need to be to be uh, taken care of through what blessings God has given us, the more God blesses us with more and more things. And uh, um, by giving, as I said, it gives us joy. And that joy becomes a motivation for us to share the more. And so greed is deprived. Greed is, is driven. Greed has no place to develop in the life of a person. That's it, Pastor. Thank Amen. you. Thank you po. Sige po. Manalangin po tayo sa gabi na to. Ianda natin ang mga pating puso't isipan. Tayo po yung manalangin. Magandang gabi po sa inyo, Panginoon. Tinatakila po namin ang inyong pangalan. Maraming salamat po sa kapangyarihan ng panalangin. At uh, anytime pwede ka namin kausapin. Wala pong umahadang sa amin. Pag gusto Panginoon, kami ini-encourage nyo na makipagnig sa inyo sa pangmagitan ng panalangin. Nawa Panginoon, uh, uh, umingi kami ng kapatawaran Panginoon sa mga naisip na sabi, na salita namin na mali, na hindi ka niya-aniaya Panginoon sa harapan ninyo. Patawarin niyo na wa po kami, Panginoon, uh, sa aming pangingi ng tawad, Panginoon, pagkalinisin niyo po kami, Panginoon, sa pamagitan, Panginoon, ng banal na dugo ng Panginoong Isokristo. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa lahat na natanggap namin na blessings, patuloy na tinatanggap, at uh, mga tatanggapin pa in the future. Tiyataas po namin sa inyo, Panginoon, ang mga sumusunod na prayer request, Panginoon. Uh, Unang-una, Panginoon, ay... Uh, Dinadalangin namin, Panginoon sa inyo, sila Michelle and sila Steve, na Panginoon na kayo po ang magupala sa kanilang buhay may asawa. Kayo po, Panginoon, na nag-author, Panginoon, na kanilang kasal. Dalangin namin na you take care of them, Lord God, provide for them, and uh, always uh, uh, culture, their, uh, culture, Lord God, uh, enrich, Lord God, their, their, uh, their marriage, Lord God. Bless their uh, marriage, Lord God, uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, ganyan din po, Panginoon, tinataas namin sa inyo. Uh, si, uh, si Tita Josie po, na medyo mataas po ang BP. Uh, nalangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, ibaba niyo po yung blood pressure niya at uh, maging okay po siya, Panginoon, as soon as possible. Uh, naway pagpalaan niyo po si Brother Ives uh, ng bagong trabaho, Panginoon, bagong matitirhan. At uh, maging, bigyan niyo po siya ng peace and comfort sa puso niya. Dahil uh, hindi lamang po yun pasyente niya, kundi kaibigan niya rin at uh, tinurin niya ng pamilya. Nawa po uh, kayo na po ang bahala na yumakap kay Brother Ives. At uh, uh, nawa kami buong simbahan ay sumuporta sa kanya at uh, tumulong sa kanya sa kanyang, uh, kanyang uh, pinagdadaanan ngayon, uh, Panginoon. Talangin namin, Panginoon, si Daniel na sana po ay... Uh, Maraming salamat po at uh, at aligtas siya sa kanyang uh, car accident na 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 uh, na nagkaroon uh, na, na insidente dalangin po namin na sana po uh, maging okay na po at uh, um, kung minor lang po ay minor repairs lang at uh, kung possible ay uh, hindi na mag-ask ng pa-repair yung kanyang uh, aksidente Panginoon pagko sa mahais Panginoon ng uh, ng minor repairs, Panginoon. Dalangin namin na ingatan niya po siya sa araw-araw sa kanyang pagmamane, Panginoon. Maraming salamat din po. At uh, ayun po ang uh, 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 nagbibigay ng kalakasan sa aming katawan. Dalangin po namin, Panginoon, si Wedge, na kayo po ang uh, magbigay uh, sa kanya ng magandang uh, pangangatawan, Panginoon. May she gain more weight, Panginoon. At the same time, Panginoon, uh, Uh, maging uh, maayos ang kanyang health, uh, Panginoon, palagi. Narangin namin, Panginoon, at uh, nagpapasalamat kami sa safe and, and travel, Panginoon, ng mga mangubat na 
ng mga uh, ng mga bensyon Panginoon at uh, Uh, pagpatuloy niyo po silang pagpalain ng kanilang uh, relasyon bilang mga mag-aasawa, Panginoon. At uh, maraming salamat sa, sa uh, patuloy, niyong, patuloy niyo po na pagpapala sa kanila. Pinataas nila may Panginoon si uh, Evelyn, si Mami Evelyn, Panginoon, na nakakilala sa inyo nung sa nasa noong 20s pa. Dalangin namin na magbalik loob sa Panginoon sa inyo. Maalala niya, Panginoon, na kanyang first love kung di kayo. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, Uh, buksan niyo ulit ang puso niya upang ibigin kayo muli at uh, magkaroon na napagandang relasyon sa inyo, Panginoon. Uh, we are praying also sa Lola ni San Marco na patuloy niyo pong pagalingin, Panginoon. Uh, we pray this uh, in Jesus' name, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon. At uh, bago namin kami manalangin, pinagaling niyo na po yung lower back pain ni Sister Bing, Panginoon. At uh, hinihipo niyo na po ito ngayon at uh, inyo pong uh, pinapagaling, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po sa 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 kapangyarihan Panginoon ng uh, panalangin Panginoon. We also pray Lord God um na dalangin namin Panginoon uh, isa pa pong prayer request ay galing kay Sister Mini sa kanilang WASC accreditation of Arlita for six years. Uh, dalangin namin wisdom po uh, during the focus meet up of uh, WASC committee, department chairs, and admin this coming Sunday. Uh, dalangin namin, Panginoon, sa kanilang meeting sa linggo, ay uh, pagparain niyo po sila ng karunungan, Panginoon. Uh, we also pray for doon sa last period or last class, Panginoon, yung period 4 ni Sister Mini na maging, uh, maging behave po, Panginoon, ang mga bata sa kanilang klase, Panginoon. Panginoon, uh, ihadalangin namin sa inyo, Panginoon, ang LA Film Nas attendees, uh, Jazelle, kindly lead us uh, from number 14 to 26. And Lord Heavenly Father, I left up to you our members, attendees from um, number 14 to 26, Lord. Um, Lord, I left up to you, Tito Alien, Tita Jasmine, Anaya, and Allison. Um, thank you, Lord, for their lives, that they are so eager to just serve you, Lord, and to glorify your name. I pray, Lord, now you will be in the middle of their family, surround them with your presence, and we pray now you will provide sa mga kailangan po nila, Lord. And we just grant their hearts desires, whatever it may be, Lord. Give them strength, lalo na po kay Tito Aldrin and Tito Jasmine, sa kanilang work, so that they will be just able to continuously provide for their family. And also, Allison may sustain her as well in her studies and also Anaya, Lord Jesus. Keep them safe and healthy and may they just um, continue to seek you always, Lord. We also lift up Tita Grace um, Angeles. Thank you so much, Lord, for her life. Now she is also in your church every week. Lola Fe and Lola Ben continue to be with her at all times, Lord. We pray, Lord, now you will also provide for her needs. Now you will keep her safe and healthy at all times. And also her family, Lord. And um, may she be reminded of your love always. We also lift up Lola Elena, Mama Josie, Papa Noel, and also myself, Lord. We are also so grateful, Lord, that you are using us in your church to just um, honor your name, Lord. May you also surround us with your presence, Lord. Sustain us with whatever we need. And um, Lord, and keep us safe as I drive to school, as they go to work, Lord. And we also pray for our Lola, Lord, that she will also... Be healthy, Lord, and that you will keep her away from illnesses and accidents as well, Lord. Sustain us, Lord, and may we just seek you in our everyday lives. We also pray for um, Tita Lenlen. Thank you, Lord, for her life. Now she is also always in your church every week, Lord. May you also be with her in everything that she do, Lord, lalo na po sa kanyang work. Now she will also, now she will always be reminded na you're always with her. May you provide for her needs as well, Lord, and keep her safe in your everyday life. And lastly, we lift up the um, Bogayong family, Kuya Jan, Ate Mavi, Teo, and Maya. Lord, we are so grateful for their lives na you also use them, Lord, in your ministries. May you also be in the middle of their family and also guide Ate Mavi and Kuya Jan as well as their children grow, Lord. Give them the strength that they need. We also pray, Lord, na maging maayos po ang schedule ni Kuya Jan, na he will be able to play drums again, Lord, for your glory, so that their whole family, Lord, would be able to come to church every week and 
um, makapakinig po sila sa no- ng word mo, Lord. And walang imposible sa'yo, Lord. We also pray for Teo, especially Maya, na you will keep them away from any sicknesses, Lord. We pray, Lord, na you will keep them safe, lalo na po si Kuya Jan, as he works for their family. Continue to provide for them, Lord. And we ask, Lord, na you will continue to bless our members and attendees. Na you will also use each and every one of us, Lord, to reach for more people, for them to get to know you and your word, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Salamat. Salamat po, Jessel. And uh, we'll go now to Church of the Nazarene. So for uh, for the Church of the Nazarene, uh, Sister Josie, kindly lead us in prayer. Thank you. <coughs> <clears throat> Lord, Lord, patuloy po kami sa diwan ng panalangin, Lord, na nilalapit po namin ang mga leaders ng Church of the Nazarene, uh, General Superintendent, Rusik Trucker, Chambu Samberg, Daniel Sarmiento, DS District Superintendent, Mark Lehman, Local Church Board, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Vong, Sister Gurley, Rachel and Sister LB, the Pilnas Pastoral Staff, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Norbert, Pastor Bong, Pastor Rave, and Pastor Akled. <clears throat> English, pa- Pastor Josue, Michael Mata, Dan Bayer, Pedro Torres, Angela Way, Spanish, Juan Pajardo, Lina Pajardo, Gladys Rosales, South Korea, Hi Sandy, Moon Howdy, North Korea, Jong Wan Lee, Hi Suk Lee, and CB Stop, Star Curtis, and Nick Minor. Lord, nilalapit po namin sa inyo ang mga leaders at pastors ng mga ito, Lord. Pangunahan mo po sila, Panginoon. Uh, Lord, dalangin po namin na ikaw po, Panginoon, ang manguna sa bawat isa sa kanila, Panginoon. Layo mo po sila sa anumang sakit, sa anumang uh, karamdaman, sa anumang disgrasya, Lord. Pangunahan mo po sila sa anuman po sila idako, Panginoon. Lord, nalangin po namin, Panginoon, na ililid mo po sila sa kanilang mga hinahawak ang churches, Lord. At ganoon din po, Panginoon, i-bless mo po sila, Panginoon, sa po ng kanilang mga pamilya, Panginoon. Lord, nalangin din po namin, Panginoon, na Uh, il- ilapit mo po sila, Panginoon, sa lahat ng uh, mga, mga magagandang bagay, Panginoon, na ibabahagi nila, Panginoon. Lord, lalong-lalo na sa kanilang mga member, Lord. Maging committed po sila sa lahat, Lord. Kakitaan po sila ng good example, Lord. Lalo na po yung mga pastors, Lord. At dalangin din po namin, Panginoon, na I-bless mo po sila sa lahat ng kanilang gagawin, Panginoon. Lord. Alam ko po, Panginoon, na uh, ikaw ay sa, sumasa kanila, Panginoon. At dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na uh, lahat po, Panginoon, ng kanilang gagawin, iisipin, Panginoon. I-bless mo po ito, Panginoon. Pangunahan mo po sila, Panginoon. Alam ko po, Panginoon, na walang Walang imposible sa iyo, Panginoon. Lahat po ng mga binabalak nila, Panginoon, lalo na po yung sa ikabubuti, Panginoon, at uh, ikalalago, Panginoon, ng uh, mga kanilang mga membro, kanilang hinahawakan, Panginoon, na uh, uh, churches, Lord, ikaw po, Panginoon, siyang mamunguna, Lord. At sa iyo lamang po sila umasa, magtiwala, Lord, dahil alam po namin, Panginoon, na Walang mahilip, mahirap sa iyo, walang imposible sa iyo, Lord. At lahat po, Panginoon, ng kanilang mga problema, kung may mga problema po sila, kung may mga sakit po sila, Panginoon, alam ko po, Panginoon, na ikikinatag po mo na, Panginoon, ngayon pa lamang po, Panginoon. At pinasasalamatan na po namin ito, Panginoon, sa iyo na alam po namin na Diyos na mabuti, maalam sa lahat, at walang imposible sa iyo, Panginoon, sa iyo na makagagawa ng lahat, Panginoon. Sa iyo na lahat ay kaya, Panginoon. Higit pa kaysa sa uh, mga hinihiling namin at iniisip sa pamagitan ng kanyang kapangyarihang nagahari sa bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon. Lord, salamat po sa mga leaders na ito at mga pastors, Panginoon. Pagpalain mo po sila at huwag mo po silang pababayaan. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Josie, for complete healing, provisions, comfort, peace, and other concerns. Uh, for complete healing, uh, Allison, kindly lead us. Thank you. Thank you, God. Um... Praise the Lord God, patawarin niyo po kami, Lord Jesus, sa kami mga nagawa kami ng mga undesire ko sa inyong mata, Lord God. If there are failures in parts of our life, Lord God, na hindi namin nagampanan, Lord God, na like things that doesn't glorify you, Lord Jesus. May you all wash that away, Lord Jesus. Purify us, us to those who are praying, Lord God, right now, and those who are about to listen, Lord Jesus. And those who are we are praying for, Lord Jesus. Lord, purify all of us. Purify our hearts. Purify our thoughts. And therefore, Lord Jesus, as you purify us, take effect, Lord God. May your power and your love overflow, Lord Jesus, in us. And uh, itong prayer na is makarating sa inyo. Lord, first and foremost, Lord Jesus, we pray for healing. He may go for Tita Vilma sa kanyang lower um so lower down sugar, um, lower back pain, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord Jesus, na you will um touch her back, Lord Jesus, that you will reach it, reach it out, Lord Jesus, that everything will be um just miraculously healed, Lord Jesus. Na she will regain um her energy, Lord Jesus. She will regain na para everything will come back normal again. And Lord, we also pray for Tita Josie, Lord Jesus. Na, Sa kan na to lower down yung BP niya, Lord God. And we also pray for Patty, sa inalagaan sa LV. We pray for her hip surgery. May it be successful, Lord Jesus. Na kayo po ang <laughs> give her comfort, Lord Jesus, and the security that she needs. Um, na hindi po siya kabahan or like all anxiety, Lord Jesus. Remove all of that. Allow her to feel secured in your arms, Lord Jesus, and that um, everything will go as planned, Lord Jesus, sa will nyo. We also pray for Kuya Dud sa kanyang ultrasound sa, dahil sa kanyang stomach pain. Um, we pray for that stomach pain, Lord Jesus. It will um, be healed, mawawala po siya, and um, if you see any signs of something, Lord Jesus, you will remove that, Lord God. Everything will come back to normal and we claim it and we receive it, Lord Jesus. We believe in you. And we also pray for Ate Darren, Nat Nat, Rizel, Jairel, um, PJ, and all of those who are having um, coughing, runny noses, Lord Jesus, kung allergy man siya or because of um, nakakasakit sila dahil sa changes of the weather or any cases, Lord Jesus. We just pray for um this. We pray for all of us, Lord Jesus. Kung may family member din kami, Lord God, na are sick right now, Lord Jesus. We just pray for complete healing, Lord Jesus. Restoration of health, Lord God. We pray for Gemma Vicente sa kanyang leukemia, Lord God. We we pray, Lord Jesus, that um you will wipe this away. Nothing's impossible, Lord God. Sa yo, Lord God. Na isang touch mo lang sa kanila, Lord Jesus. Pagpapadala mo pa lang ng um Holy Spirit, you Lord Jesus. Um and your angels, Lord Jesus. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that everything that um is touched by your presence, everything will be glorified. Everything will be blessed by you. And Lord, we also pray for Pastor Jong Wan Lee sa kanyang kidney stroke, Lord God. Um, may you continuously reach out to him and reach out to his family, Lord God. Same na security that they need, Lord Jesus. Kung kailangan man nila ng financial help or, or um, any type of help, Lord God, we, we know that you will provide all of this, Lord God. Um, we know how much you love them, just how much you love us as well. We pray for um, Berna sa kanyang knee surgery. Um, we pray, Lord God, na before the surgery that everything will be na gagaan yung pakaramdam la niya and after the surgery Lord God na ganun din po and mas better pa po yung condition ng niya right after the surgery it will be just as good as new Lord Jesus dahil kayo ang gagalaw dito Lord God and we pray for um Mercedes Vir Vir Virtug sa um complete healing 
Lord, kayo po ang nakakaalam kung um, what part or what type, Lord God, na kila, ng type of healing, Lord God, that they are needing right now, Lord Jesus. And we know that you will provide it. You are our provider and you also serve the salvation, Lord God, that we need. And na we also pray, Lord God, for um, PJ's knee pain. Um, we pray, Lord God, that tatanggalin niyo ito. It will be healed. You will touch it, Lord Jesus, and it will never come back ever again, Lord Jesus. We believe in this. We we proclaim in this, Lord God, and we pray for um sa kanyang mari receive na injections uh March five, Lord God. And Lord, we pray for Patrick Noel. We also believe and we just keep on praying lord god holding on to our faith lord god na hindi kami magsasawa lord jesus we will keep on believing and claiming and claiming and claiming the miracle that you are about to provide sa family lord god the mga noel lord god and you will start with this lord jesus you will give him um complete miracle that he will be able to walk again lord jesus lord he is a talented person lord jesus and i pray lord god that someday once you allow your will to be done lord jesus na makakapaglakad na siya ulit lord god may their whole family be able to attend the church and na um they will be able to serve you and their toast their testimony lord god about you will glorify you and your name and your kingdom as well we also pray for Ivan De Losario, um, sa kanyang mental health, Lord God. Um, kayo din po ang nakakaalam dito. You know them more than we do, Lord God, especially in a deeper level, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you will just um convict them, like ju- show yourself to them, Lord God. Um, show yourself, Jesus, to them in a comforting way in a warm way to where they will just cry in an emotional way of experiencing your love for them experiencing the miracle that and na makikita nila your plan sa buhay nila that they are important Lord God like how much they're important to you and Lord um, overall, Lord Jesus, kung meron pa pong mga tao na hindi po nailagay dito sa listahan na to, we just want to reach out our hands to them, Lord Jesus. Um, we just pray for them. We just want them to be blessed. We want them to be healed. We want them to also know you. And we want them to glorify you and use their daily lives and daily circumstances to be a testimony, Lord God. Just like how you used us to be a testimony that is alive right now to glorify you and your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Salamat, Alison. Complete healing from cancer. Uh, Sister Faith, kindly of lead us. Thank you. Lord, uh, we lift up to you the following people, God. We just declare... Your healing over um, cancer, Lord, for Miss Rivas, Lord, we pray for healing from uterus cancer, for Tess Oy sa ovarian cancer, uh, Edna Labirinto sa breast cancer, Ricardo Madrid lung cancer, uh, Noah de Guzman bone cancer, and Rachel sa kanyang um, lung cancer, Lord. Uh, we thank you, God, that you have authority over this sickness, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because... Uh, you are the one who will touch their body, God. And Lord, we pray for those who are undergoing uh, radiation or chemotherapy, Lord. We pray that you would provide for their needs. We pray, God, na ikaw din, Panginoon, na magpalakas ng katawan nila. That you would strengthen their bodies, Lord. That their bodies would respond uh, properly, God, to the different uh, various treatments, God, that they have to go through. God, at times that they feel discouraged and lonely and hopeless, Lord, would you come and visit them and let your overwhelming presence, God, just surround them and comfort them and just assure them, God, that you are in perfect control, God. And we we just claim, God, uh, powerful testimonies from the following people. So we lift them up to you and their families in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Salamat, Sister Faith, for personal supplication. Uh, Sister Janet, kindly lead us special favor and request. 
Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we come to you tonight, Lord God, praying for all the special favor and requests. Father, we pray for Reg, that you would just help her, oh God, to just gain weight. We pray for Giselle for her midterms. Just pray for wisdom, Lord, and even strength. Thank you so much for her life. We pray for uh, Mommy of Tita LB for more strength, oh Lord. We just pray that you will just be with her, oh Lord, right now and uh, help her, oh God, uh, that she will be strengthened from the uh, from the inner man, oh God, na mag-manifest, Lord, sa physical. And Lord, just pray for Anaya for good CBC results. We pray for Iba for peace with the sisters, settle a documentation uh, for the, the documentation needs. Just pray for her, oh Lord. Whatever she's going through right now, be with her, oh God. I pray for strength. May the love of Jesus clothe her, oh God. And Lord, we just pray for uh, Manny, for Dave, for their work schedule. Be the one, oh God, to just orchestrate time and season. They may be able, oh God, to just really get the best uh, schedule that they would have to be in your presence, especially, Lord, every Sunday. We pray for Lauren, for Lauren, for Faith. For their behind the wheel examination, Lord, we pray that you will just give them, Lord, a favorable instructor during the time. Okay, exam sila, Lord. Help them pass this examination, God. We pray for uh, Sister Faith for the processing of her papers and the extension of her visa, Lord. Thank you so much for how you're opening door for her, oh God, to be able to extend here in the U.S. Maraming pong salamat sa buhay ni Sister Faith. Continue to use her, oh God, mightily. We pray for Ava and for Janelle for their college application. Father, we, we lift these uh, ladies into your hands, O oh God, for the next season of their lives. We pray that you will just make open doors for them, O oh God, to continue on, Lord God, to pursue higher education, give them wisdom, give them strength. And may you just put into alignment people, events and circumstances that would help them, O oh Lord, in this uh, college application. Marami pong salamat sa buhay nila. We pray for PJ, uh, that he may be able, oh God, to pass the panel interview for the ordination on March 12th on Tuesday. Thank you so much for his life. Continue to use him, Lord, mightily. We just continue to just uh, give him, Lord, your wisdom in everything he does. Lord, may give glory to you. Marami pong salamat sa aming pastor. Pagpalaan mo ang buhay niya, sampo ng kanyang pamilya. Lord, we pray for the weddings. We pray for Edder and Jelly, Lord, for, the, for their upcoming wedding. Panginoon, maraming salamat po na kayo po ang, uh, uh, ang Diyos ng kanilang mga buhay. Lord, uh, kayo po ang magpo-provide ng lahat ng kanilang mga pangangailangan at amin pong hinahabilin ang aming mga kapatid na ito sa inyong mga pagpalang kamay. And even for Sister Mao and Brother Dennis, maging si Brother Shane and si Almira, Lord, continue, O God, to work in their lives and continue, O God, to work in their families as well. Continue to bless and prosper all the works of their hands. So just commit them to you. And even their plans, oh God, kayo po ang magbala sa kanila. We pray for Joshua for his green card. Panginoon, saan na, saan na po si Joshua? Sa gabing ito, pagpalain mo po ang kanyang buhay. Maging maayos po ang kanyang mga document. Salamat po sa buhay niya. Palaguin mo siya, Panginoon, sa kanyang pagkakakilala sa inyo. And Father, we pray, we pray for Lauren for Ivan Del Rosario and even for Job to be more socially adjusted. We lift this, uh, we, we, lift, we lift them up to you, Panginoon. Uh, Lord, we pray that they will be secured in you and may they find their confidence in you alone, Panginoon. And in doing so, they are being filled with the Holy Spirit as they are being filled with your word. God, they will be able, oh God, to reach out to other people and to be used, Lord God, for your kingdom. Salamat po sa buhay ni Job. Maging ni Beth Sagon, Lord, sa kanilang cataract surgery. Kayo po ang patuloy na magbigay ng kagalingan sa kanila, Ama. Marami pong salamat. And Lord, we pray for traveling mercies for the Maranan and for Jan Marco and for the Cruz family as well. We lift them up to you, Lord. Pagpalain mo po ang aming mga kapatid sa kanilang mga future plans of uh, travels. Kayo po, Panginoon, ang magbigay ng magandang panahon. Magbigay Panginoon ng maayos na paglalakbay. Continue to bless them and keep them safe. Thank you so much, O God. In Jesus' name, Amen. And salamat po, Sister Janet, for our uh, events. Uh, Tita Fe, kind you did us. Thank you. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, 
we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Through the blood of Jesus, we come before your throne of grace. We thank you, Lord God, for your presence with us tonight, because in your presence, O oh God, we find comfort. We are filled with joy. We feel refreshed, O oh God. And we have that confidence, dear God, that whatever we ask or plead with you, you are there to answer and grant according to your will. God, we praise you and thank you for our church. We thank you for the pastors that you've given, our leaders, our shepherd, oh God. We thank you for everyone, oh God, whom you have used to bless the church. And despite all those trials that the church had gone through, <clears throat> you have blessed the church and you have provided people who can really go forward for your glory in this ministry. We thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity of events, O oh Lord, that will be a means of gathering people, especially, Lord God, bringing in people who know you not, people, O oh Lord, who need salvation, and people probably who have not heard what eternal life is, what it is to live in the Lord, and what it is to be away from God. Lord God, we thank you for these events which are opportunities for us, O oh God, to spread the gospel and bring in people into your fold. We, we present to you, Lord, or lift up to you, Lord God, this opportunity on February the 3rd, this coming Friday, that you will bless, O oh God, this training, that you will anoint every part of it, Anoint our leader, our teacher, our pastor, Pastor Jeff, who will bring forth, who will be the leader and bring forth, oh God, the things that will uh, um, be uh, necessary to make this Paul and team training successful. Let your Holy Spirit come upon it. Use our pastors, O oh God, our leaders, O oh God, uh, whenever they are needed for this, to assist our pastor. And may every part of it be anointed and be everyone, everyone be blessed, the Lord, and leaving the church, believing that they have the blessed, they have received the best blessing that on that night. God, um, help those who are involved in this, to be able to run a 101, uh, a 101 discipleship. Anoint them, O oh God. Bless, give them the gifts of the Holy Spirit and anoint them even in their process of learning and help them to grow and mature in this type, in this part of the ministry. We thank you also, you, O oh God, for the Youth Compassionate Ministry um, uh, on, on, on March 25th, Friday, we will have this Tenebrae service. God, we do remember your death on the cross through Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for the eternal life that your people receive, O oh God. And so we ask, O oh Lord, that during this service, you will be there. You will bless and anoint each part. You will bring in people. You will send your ministering angels and bring in people. And when they are there, God, we ask that the Holy Spirit will send conviction power so that everyone who needs to dedicate his life and, and uh, to you, Lord, will be blessed. Everything, O oh God, will redound to your glory through the change in the hearts and the minds of people that will be in it. We thank you also, O oh God, for 
the Rex Resurrection Sunday. May everyone, O oh Lord, reckon the time when Jesus played his role on the tree cross in our behalf. May this Resurrection Sunday, O oh Lord, be a blessed day for each one, those who have known you already, O oh God, to reckon the day when you suffered on the cross. And mm -hmm. those, O oh Lord, who know you not, will come in to the conviction of the Spirit of the Lord and will receive salvation, O oh God, and realize what Jesus has done on this day. Bless this day, we pray. Uh, give our pastors wisdom and help every part of it, O oh God, anointed by the Spirit of the Lord. We commit that to you, and we ask you, dear Lord, that you will bless each soul in Jesus' name. We thank you also for Mother's Day on April, uh, on, on May 12th. We thank you, Lord God, for our mothers. We ask, O oh Lord, that they will find joy, O oh Lord, in you through this day. And may they know that families, friends, and loved ones really honor them and love them and respect them. For it is your will that we do it, Lord. We thank you for Friday uh, until Monday. On, in, um, on May 24 to 27, the Spring Family Camp, it's a big event, Lord God. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will uh, bless and give wisdom to the leaders, to those who are going to organize, O oh God, every part of this camp, Lord. Um, give them wisdom. In fact, Lord, even in their sleep, O oh God, at night before this happens, O oh God, that you will speak to their hearts and give them, O oh Lord, uh, wisdom in uh, what activities should be given priority in order, O oh Lord, to, to um, oh. effect the major and minor objectives of the camp. May this be a, an event, Lord, where a lot of people will be involved in this, uh, children and those who know you not. Participate, be a part of it, Lord God, and be blessed out of this camp. Provide the, um, the, um, the money, the funds, so God, that are needed to sustain the camp. And we thank you, Lord God, for our leaders. And for June 14, Friday for the LA District Joint Service at 6 p.m. We commit that to, jo to you, Lord. We know that you bless us. Uh, you, you will bless the church, Lord, with all the, uh, the, uh, the churches, the local churches joined together. Be one. Feel as one to, uh, uh, members of one body of Jesus Christ. Provide its need, Lord. Bless the leaders of God. Help them to have wisdom, direct them, and may gifts that you have given them be stirred up and be used for your glory. We thank you for our Father's Day. We thank you for our fathers. Make this an event, Lord God, wherein we, everybody, will recognize the role that fathers play in this world, uh, the role that fathers play in the fa each family, Lord. We thank you, God, for blessing each of these events, and we thank you, give you glory for each day, for its occasion, for its event. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The faith for our popcorn prayer. Uh, you may uh, pray for whatever that uh, the Holy Spirit is leading you. Uh, you may turn on your mic and start praying. Thank you. Lord God, I commit to you our sister Bernardita. 
We thank you for her life. We thank you because she loves you and you love her. We pray that you will visit her, even at this very moment, touch her legs, touch her knees. Lord God, make them strong, heal them. For we know that you were wounded, Jesus, for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon us, Lord God, and by your stripes, Sister Bernadette is healed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, tonight we come before you, lifting up to you, Lord. Every family going through some challenges, Lord, you do not know them, but you know them, O God. Let there be peace, O God. Let there be joy. Let there be fun and enjoyment inside the homes. That our children will be able, O God, to enjoy our homes and our families as well, that they will not find um, love, Lord, outside the family. We lift them up to you, Lord, especially our teens, our young people, that you will take care of them, oh God. You will give them wisdom and understanding. Lord, we pray that you will just connect them, God, to right people and detach them, Lord, from any bad influences, oh God. We pray that the covering of the blood of Jesus be with them wherever they are, wherever they go. go. Panginoon, ingatan mo po sila. Lord, tinadalangin din po namin yung mga kapatid na dumalo, nakadalo na sa gawain, Panginoon. Wherever they are, we lift them up to you, Lord. Paalala mo po ang iyong mga salita sa kanila. Palakasin mo po sila, Panginoon. At uh, makahanap sila, Panginoon, ng church where they will grow and their faith will be nurtured. Marami pong salamat sa mga dinadala mo sa aming simbahan. Kayo po ang patuloy na mag-ingat, magpala, at uh, patuloy Panginoon na magpalago sa kanilang buhay pananampalataya. Marami pong salamat. Ingatan mo po ang bawat isa. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, uh, we also take this time to pray for Kuya Ives. Lord, uh, yung situation po na nangyari sa kanya, Lord, we pray for your comfort to be upon him. Lord, uh, bigyan niyo po siya ng wisdom kung ano po ang gagawin niya. I pray that you would provide a place for him and a new employment, Lord. And I think that you have gone ahead of him. Nakita niyo po itong situation na to. And I pray, Panginoon, na tulungan mo siya, encourage mo siya, Panginoon, at bigyan mo siya ng uh, wisdom kung ano yung mga next step na gagawin niya. But thank you, God, that you are in control over his life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, I would like to pray for my wife. Uh, please heal her, Lord God. Uh, this is not from you. And we pray for healing. We declare healing by your stripes. We are healed, Lord. And Lord, I would also like to pray for more instrumentalist worshipers, Lord God, who are willing to grow in maturity, Lord God, in their spirituality, Lord. And um, if you send forth new musicians, oh Lord God, or uh, we pray for our youth who, who might uh, be interested in uh, playing instruments, Lord God. May you bring them forth, Lord God. Um, awaken their gifts, Lord. And um, we pray that um, you will reveal um, your purpose, Lord God, sa uh, mga kabataan namin, Lord God. And we just pray um, for the worship team, Lord God, to have unity and uh, a growth, Lord God, not just in numbers, but in spirituality as well, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we also pray for um physically, emotionally, mentally, and those who are spiritually unwell, Lord God. And also, um, sa amen, Lord God, we always have space for improvement, Lord Jesus. We just pray, Lord God, that you will um, continue to move in our um, hearts, in our soul, in our lives, Lord God. That you will con continue to develop us, Lord Jesus, as someone who you would want to use in the future, Lord God. And Lord, we also pray that you will give us the freedom to break all these chains that holds us back, Lord God. Kung meron man mga circumstances or feeling namin na nagihinder, Lord God, sa amen, to choose on keep on praising you and worshiping you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa gabing ito. Muli, ikaw ang aming dinadakila. 
at uh, tinatanghal. And as we retire tonight, Father God, with you, Father God, and do us, your Lord God, your blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Bert. Let's uh, open our windows. Mm -hmm. Our prayer request. A prayer request for <laughs> picture taking. <laughs> Sorry, prayer request. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sorry na limutan ko isulat yung kay Jasmine nga pala yung tummy ache. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get ready for Friday also. And uh, we'll have one-on-one -on -one, uh, discipleship seminar or training. Sana. Ibang-ibang. Ibang, ibang. Okay. One, two, three, and smile. There you go. God bless you guys. We'll see you on Friday. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night, Paul. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.